What's going on guys, uh, Josh here. Today I wanted to show you a quick video uh, and, and chat with you a little bit about how to get your first junior dev job. Where is there, is there any place that you can show off the skills that you've learned and, and really get people to, to, to look past your experience and see that you've actually worked hard enough and you're ready for a job? Actually there is and I wanna chat with you about it. Check this out. What's going on guys, Josh here, and today I want to chat with you a little bit about one of my favorite sites for new uh, junior devs, okay? Now this is this is a, a site I like to call Triple Byte, all right? Now Triple Byte is actually a website that's for software engineers, and basically the way it works is this, is first you take you take a quiz, okay? Now these quizzes are, are, are here to help you. So for example, let's look at a front end quiz, right? So here's a practice question. What is caching used to increase and read performance? Um, why is caching used to increase and read performance? By the way, when you're taking quizzes, make sure you read questions twice. Well, I messed that up a lot. Um, it makes the first read faster. Is that, is that true about caching? It makes the second and subsequent reads faster. It makes even number reads faster. It makes odd number reads faster. So you're going through this and you're, you're realizing you're like, okay, well, let's see what's going on. So I, I realized that caching happens the first time someone hits a web page, they, you know, all the cache gets downloaded from the server. And then that way, the next time it loads, it doesn't have to load all your static resources like photos that are there or logos or all that stuff. It's already there. So your, your next website visit is, and forever from that point on, is gonna load much faster. So it's actually second, it's actually this answer here. So I hit that was easy. Um, great. And then, so let's see what happens if I get a wrong answer. Uh, it makes odd number reads asked. Oh, no matter what, it doesn't tell you. <laughs> All right, well, anyways, I'm pretty sure that was the right answer. Um, but if I got that answer wrong, just write in the comments what the right answer was. That would be, that'd be embarrassing. The guy on YouTube doesn't know what the heck he's talking about. All right, anyways, I'm, I'm sure that, is, that, that was right. But the point is, is triple by what it lets you to do is it takes t you take a quiz just like that. And, and what, what the part that I love about it is that it has these, these looking for your first programming job, these quizzes, all right? And so when you take these quizzes, it actually, um, it's about an hour, I think, worth of work. And you gotta know that the questions start off really easy and they get pretty difficult towards the end. They're multiple choice and they help you do that. Now what this does is, um, first of all, as you take the quiz, it's gonna show you what areas you're kind of weakest in and you know where, where it makes more sense for you to spend more of your time doing that. But what happens is, um, companies, just like some of these companies here, and I'll take you into the companies tab in just a second, um, they actually go on this website and they find people that are they already know can code. So you've passed this assessment. This kind of takes you straight. It takes you past you know putting your resume in and doing that. It takes you past that and it actually takes you to the in-person like technical interview. So if you're pretty, if, if you're, if you have the skills there, then it's going to be amazing. And this is what I love the, the fast track. Um, so top quiz performers, if you perform in the top, you know, 20%, uh, which I actually did are eligible for our fast track program, you'll skip tech screens and you'll go directly to on sites with companies, right? So other companies, so let me log in real fast. All right. Oh, great. Now I'm trying to remember how I logged into this. Yeah, let's try that. All right, so I finally remembered my password and logged into this thing. So, okay, so I wanna show you some of the assessment library, okay? And Triplebyte has a bunch of different library, uh, a bunch of different assessments that you can take that's gonna help you um, get fast-tracked into some of these companies, right? So here's the idea. So you're gonna take this generalist quiz, um, this front end quiz, things like that. And, um, and, and just depending on whatever kind of area your expertise is in, and you're gonna do that. Now, if you scroll down here, we have these entry level core assessment um, places, and you can go ahead and you can, uh, you can do these. If you get a high enough score in some of these top in these, some of these top qu quizzes, then they'll actually be able to give you a fast track. Now, the reason that I love this is because some of you guys are really skilled at coding, but you're not super skilled at interviewing, right? And so some companies are like, hey, we just need great engineers, like, and and we can work on, you know, we can work on team building with them and stuff like that. But we want to make sure we get the top of the top of engineers. How do we do that? Well, you take you take one of these quizzes here. And um, like this generalist quiz or a front end quiz or whatever kind of quiz that you feel like you do well in. Um, by the way, you get multiple tries. 
But um, you take one of these quizzes, they, then you sign up for a fast track. Fast track is an in-depth like three to four hour quiz. I think it's a long one. I think it's that long, I might be a little off. But you do that and so, if you fast track these companies that are here, there's lots of companies that are looking, that are act that are actively hiring. For example, Facebook is on here. Um, let's see, some of these American Express is on here, Coinbase. Uh, let's see, what else is on here? Oh, Triple Byte themselves is actually looking for that. Uh, Mixed Panel, that's a kind of a cool company too. Uh, is that Squarespace? Um, Apple. So some of these companies here are going to see that you've passed this. You've p passed this fast track interview. You're a top. You're a top tier engineer, and they're going to automatically start a conversation with you. And as we start these conversations with you, you get kind of fast tracked past all their initial stuff and you come straight to an on-site interview. And so there's been a lot of people that have gotten amazing jobs doing this. And I think this is an amazing way to show if you've actually put the time in to learn your craft very well, then you can actually get, uh, get into their fast track program, skip all of the stuff that doesn't matter and go straight to uh, a place like this, um, go straight to uh, Facebook or straight to Apple and, um, and get, and go straight to their on sites and, and see how you do there. So anyways, this is a quick tip that I just wanted to throw at you. I think this is an amazing place to really work at and, uh, or to, this is an amazing place to really devote some time to. And I think not a lot of people are talking about triple Byte. So, um, if you want more information on triple Byte, there's a link in the description. Um, if you actually get a job through triple Byte and you click that link, then I actually get a kickback. So if you want to support the channel and you want to just do that, click it. Plus it'll get you there faster, right? Instead of typing it. I don't know. So if that's something that interests you, great. Hey, like and subscribe to this if that's the kind of content that you're looking for, how to get your first developer job and how to continue just to grow in your development career. I, I really want to help people do that. It's changed my life and I want to help change yours. So anyways, that's, uh, that's all we got for today. I'll talk to you later.